Hi guys and welcome to Vlogmas Day 15. Yesterday I talked a little bit about, you know, the pressures of social media on my reading and I mentioned that there were points when I'm reading when I choose not to read longer books to meet goals for like Goodreads challenges and stuff like that and so I thought today I would show you some of the longer books and by longer books I mean 400 pages or over um, that I have on my shelves that I want to get around to um, in the new year with like setting my goals. I probably won't get to all of these but these have been on my shelves so I would like to read them at some point. So the first one is this beast and that is Les Miserables by Victor Hugo. Now I have seen Les Mis multiple times in the theatre and I've also watched the movie. Um, I actually first saw Les Mis when I was 16 and in like London, the UK. I say London, the UK as people are probably looking at me a little bit strange but there is a London, Ontario and there is a university there and I know a lot of people who go there so I feel the need to specify that London in the UK I saw uh, Les Mis for the first time when I was 16 and I absolutely loved it. So I've had this on my shelf for a while. I have the Penguin Clothbound Classic designed by Coralie Bickford Smith which I absolutely love. Um, it's a bit of a beast. It's uh, oh oh it is 1,232 pages. So this is quite quite the beastie that I would like to get through. Um, so this is one that I want to want to tackle at some point in the future. Another one of my cloth bound classics and one that I've had on my shelf for far too long. I have started this and then just kind of gave up on it and that is Vanity Fair by William Makepeace Thackeray. Makepeace Thackeray? Yeah, there's no A in there. Um, this tells the story of Becky Sharp who is a very unlikable character. I think I'm gonna really enjoy this but I just need to get around to it. This one clocks in, I think it's slightly less than um, the other one. Oh, there's some appendixes and some notes, which I do not include in my page count. Um, vanity, it's, you know, over 700 pages, almost 800 pages for this one. So yeah, this is another one I want to get to. Now for some more contemporary ones. I want to get to The Little Friend by Donna Tart. I've had this on my shelf forever. <laughs> this is this is a reoccurring theme here. Um, I've read Donna Tartt's other two books and I really enjoyed them, uh, The Secret History and The Goldfinch, both of which were quite long and so I really would like to get around to this. This is over 600 pages. Um, I've heard it's not as good as her other ones. It's hard. I probably should have started with this because this was her first book but I do want to get around to read it and then I've like read Donna Tartt's bibliography. Next up is The Valley of the Dolls by Jacqueline Susan. Um, this is one that just barely meets the requirements, it's just over 400 pages, but I have had it on my shelf for a while. I have the beautiful VMC edition, just just absolutely stunning. Um, and yeah, I just, I, I've had this for a while and it seems kind of like, it's a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I feel like I would enjoy this. The last two are relatively new additions to my bookshelf, um, but I do want to read them. The first one is a collection of short stories by, where's the full author name? Nikolai Leskov, um, who's a Russian author. It's called The Enchanted Wanderer and Other Stories. This is a beautiful um, vintage red spine. This is short, basically Russian short stories. Um, it's quite long. It is, it clocks in at just over 500 pages. Um, so this is quite a lot, large collection of short stories um, and one I think I can dip in and out of throughout the year, but I do definitely want to get this off my off my TBR list. And the last one is Charlotte Bronte's Shirley. Um, this is a bind up of both Shirley and The Professor. The Professor is quite short. Shirley is over 600 pages. So I'd really like to finish these two up. Um, mostly I just want to get through Shirley. Um, I will read The Professor at some point, but these are the last two Charlotte Bronte novels that I have to read. And then I have read the entirety of the Bronte sisters bibliography. So yes, I do want to get them. I have them in the Everyman edition. I quite like these. Um, they're really well bound. If you're looking for like a really solid, um, well bound hardback editions, you can't really go wrong with Everyman. Um, but yeah, so this is just a short little video about some longer books that I want to get to. And I'm kind of trying to shame myself into reading them. And I will see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.